My name is Kain from the Tech Pro, and today we are going to continue with Path 6 on Spring Security. So we are still creating uh, a functionality to allow or to fetch username and password from the database. And previously, we've created a database, configured the database, we've created the user, created the repository. Now, after creating a repository, the next thing you want to create is something called the service layer. So the service layer actually is a class or a layer that talks to the repository and gets back to the configuration. So what I'm going to do first is to first annotate in the repository, we need to annotate it with a repository. All right, perfect. All right, remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed, and that way you don't miss any updates and also you motivate me to continue making these lessons. If you have a comment, please leave it in the comment box for me Below this video, and if this video, my videos, has been helpful for you, uh, leave your comments to let me know, and also feel free to like it. Okay, so what I'm going to now create is a service layer. I'm sorry, I'm mixing up the whole steps, so because I have the steps here, step one to ten, but it seems I'm mixing them up. So I uh, we've done the first one, we've done the second, we've done the third, and now we've uh, we've jumped to step six to create the repository, and we are jumping back to step five. To create the user details service. So the user details service is the service layer. After creating a repository, it's normal. Uh, it's normally good to create the service layer. So let's see. Let's get to uh, create the repository, create the service. Yeah, this is the steps. All right. So in the services folder, I'm going to create a class called my user details service. Right. So let's see. So. Uh, in the services folder here, I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to call it my user details service. Now, this class called my user details service uh, has to has to extend, has to implement user details service. The reason is because Spring Security provides us with a class or with, with an interface called uh, user details service. So it's an interface and we have to implement it so that we'll have uh, the, 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 the method to be able to fetch username and password. So we are going to say uh, add and we are going to implement user details service. You can actually type it here to find it, but, uh, but it's already here because I used it recently. So I'm, say, I'm going to say okay and I'm going to say finish. All right, so we now have this class that implements uh, user details service, and I called it my user details service. So what we are going to do at this point is to first, uh, let me remove all this trash here. Hmm. So, hmm, we'll do, do again, edit, undo again. Okay, perfect. Okay, so, now we have a class that loads uh, the username and the password and returns this username and password, all right? So what we are going to do now is to uh, override these methods, this load username and password, instead of getting some user details from the user details service, we are going to get uh, the user details from the repository, right? So that is what we are going to do here. So the first thing we are going to do is to auto-wire the repository into the service. So I'm going to auto-wire the repository into the service by saying creating a private member variable of the repository type. Private user repository user repository mm -hmm. and I'm going to auto-wire it Auto wire, perfect, great. Okay, so auto wired, yeah. So this is how it should be. All right. So at this point, at this point, we are going to now create a new user. So we are going to say user user equals user repository dot find by username, which is the method we had there, 
and we give it the username, right? All right. Okay, so this is what we have, and we have it throws an exception in case this user is not is not there. So it's going to throw an exception username not found exception. All right, so um, so we are going to say if the user is not found, if user is equal to null, we are going to throw a new exception, throw new username not found exception. So we're going to display some message, user not found. All right. Okay, so uh, that is, but if the user is there, if the user is there, we are going to return. Uh, what do we return here? So, because this method returns new, returns a user details object, right? So, uh, but we cannot, actually, we don't actually have this user details uh, in, in uh, this user details created. So what we can do is to create a class that implements these user details because user details is an interface. We can't instantiate it. So we can say return new user uh, details, right? So there is some comment I like to put uh, this point. So that comment helps to explain the dilemma we face at this point. We face a dilemma, and that dilemma is, uh, what do we return? Should We cannot return user details. We can return new user details using the user found here. So we face a dilemma. So they, they, what we need to do is to create a class that implements uh, user details. Okay, uh, so let's stand by here and then go to create that class. Maybe we can call that class user principal. We don't have it, but we are going to create it. So this user principal is a class, not user detail, but a class that implements user details. And also here we have, well, we got to import this. Um, this user, um, first let me save everything. So user user is equal to user repository that's fine by username. So it has to be from the model, so from here. All right. So at this point, we've completed creating our user detail service. Only that since we cannot return user details, this user details here, which is a method, the return of type of these methods, we have to create a class that implements it. So that we are going to do in the next part. I hope you followed it. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment box below. And if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and we see in the next lesson.